want to give a quick explanation of what these numbers mean when we see them on the front of oil cans. So looking at 5W30, we've got two sets of numbers, the 5W and the 30. It might be easy to start with the 30. This number relates to how the oil performs at 100 degrees centigrade. And this number relates to how the oil performs when the oil's cool. So let's have a look at this number first and how we get to this figure of 30. So in order to get this figure, oil heated to 100 degrees centigrade is passed through what we call a viscometer or a viscometer. When it enters the viscometer and runs straight through, it's timed. And depending on how quickly it runs through, a reading is given. And that reading relates to its SAE number. Now the slower it travels through here at this temperature, then the higher the number is given, the higher the SAE number. The faster it travels down here, the lower the SAE number. So this all relates to its viscosity or its thickness. The faster it travels through the viscometer, the lower the viscosity, and the slower it travels through the viscometer, the higher the viscosity, so the thicker. The thinner travels through quicker, the thicker travels through slower. And that's where we get these numbers from. So the oil we're talking about has a viscosity of 30, thickness of 30 at 100 degrees centigrade. So when we're talking about the grade of oils, this is where the last numbers come from. And them numbers are SAE numbers, which have been determined from our viscometer readings. And the reason it's tested at 100 degrees centigrade is because that's considered a working temperature for the average engine. But as most of us know, oils at different temperatures react differently. They have different consistencies, different viscosities. The important thing here is that these figures or for tests at this temperature. So the oil condition relates to this temperature. If we cool the average oil down, there's a tendency to go thicker. The warmer it gets, the thinner it gets, and the cooler it gets, the thicker it gets. So the warmer it gets, the lower the SAE numbers are, and the cooler it gets, the higher the SAE numbers. The trouble with that is that when we come to start an engine, particularly a car engine that are more advanced nowadays, we need the oil to be thinner so that the oil can get into the parts of the engine straight away and do a real good job of lubricating everything. And the trouble with getting thicker is the parts of the engine that need lubricating from as soon as you turn the key don't actually get lubricated as much as they need to be. So really then, when the engine's cool, hasn't run for a while, this number should go up. The temperature will have come down, making the oil thicker. But the clever thing about our oil is its chemical composition makes it so that in cooler conditions, it actually acts like an SAE5. So that that oil now, at a cooler temperature, is thin. So that when we first start the key of the car, the oil is nice and thin and lubricates where it needs to from the moment we start the key. And when it gets up to temperature, it acts like an SAE30 so that it's not too thin. Because if it gets too thin at this temperature, again it will lose its lubricant efficiency and put wear on the engine. The way I remember with these numbers is this W here I associate with being winter. So this is the winter condition, the cold condition of the oil. And of course the second number is what it's like at 100 degrees centigrade. So we can see it acts like an SAE5 when it's cool. When it gets up to temperature at 100 degrees centigrade, it acts like an SAE30. And it also relates to these other numbers here. Any numbers that are found on an oil can now, you can work out what they are. The second number always relates to the viscosity of the oil at 100 degrees centigrade. And these figures with the W's always relate to the viscosity of the oil when it's cool. So I'm sure you've seen oil cans that say just simply SEA30. Well, we know what that is now. It just simply means that this type of oil has been tested at 100 degrees centigrade and it's got a viscosity SAE rating of 30. There's no number at the beginning because this oil isn't designed to be used and work efficiently when it's cool. This oil has only been tested at 100 degrees centigrade and we know this much about it. And this is mainly used for things like lawn mowers, more seasonal things that have a much more basic engine, but that don't need that same critical amount of lubricant from when you first start. Also, we don't generally use lawn mowers in the dead of winter when it's really cold, etc. It's not just lawn mowers though, it can be various other garden machinery, etc. As we know, different engine manufacturers recommend different grades of oil, and that's all down to the way they engineer their own engines as to which oil is best used. For instance if we've got an engine with a turbocharger and a quite an high performance one. From a cold start as soon as we turn the key we need oil to get up to the turbocharger so the oil needs to be 
quite thin to do that. And also with hydraulic tappets. If the oil's too thick, then not enough oil could get up to the tappets and it could cause problems. Some might be a little more basic and don't actually need them specs. So really we just need to check manufacturer specifications on our own engines. A very big thank you for watching.